Hello, my name is Chiondo, and I'm here to show you my homemade word processor called the Rhytotron, which is now available on my Etsy store. The Etsy store is at www.etsy.com slash shop slash Rhytotron. That's W-R-I-T-E-O-T-R-O-N. No spaces or hyphens or anything, obviously. So this is the Rhytotron. It is a handmade wooden word processor. It's beautiful. There are two available as of right now. Every Rhytotron has got a battery here. And um, this is what you can use to test how much power you've got left. Um, since the operating system on the Rhytotron is just Raspbian, which comes with the Raspberry Pi that powers it, and it does not have an option for testing battery life. So just hit this button here, and the lights come on. As you can see, we've got two lights. That means we're at 50% power. Every Rhytotron you can charge with a micro USB port like this here. Pretty standard USB port. Same thing that you can use to charge most Android phones. So let's open up the Rhytotron. Here is the Rhytotron. It's got a full keyboard screen and touchpad. It's also got two USB ports, which you can use to plug in a mouse or even an extra keyboard if that's what you want, if you prefer that keyboard, and also a touchpad with mouse buttons. Left and right click there. So the thing about the Rhytotron is that you have to turn it on twice, but you only have to turn it off once. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. You have to turn on the battery by hitting the button. That sends power to the switch. Then once the switch has got power, then you hit the switch, and on it comes. So the Rhytotron is booting up. As you can see, it's got the Raspbian stock word um, operating system on it. It boots straight into LibreOffice Writer, which is the word processor of choice for me. There is one additional word processor on there, but it's... Um, it's, it's for opening and using much, much larger documents. If you're working on, you know, smaller documents, you know, between one and, I don't know, 30 pages or so, then you can stick with LibreOffice and you'll be fine. Working on whole novels, you know, and having the entire novel all in one file, then you'll need Abbey Word for that, which is also included. So, this is LibreOffice Writer. As you can see, it's got a black background and white text. This is for making it easier. Don't worry, when you save to another computer, it won't save white text to a white background. Um, and it'll just open up like normal on other computers. So let's just type some words here. Hello, this is Giando. Welcome to the right o tron All right, a couple shortcuts I'd like to show you. I've programmed some shortcuts so that the uh, writer trunk can go into full screen mode, so that's F3 here. That way, all menus disappear and all you're seeing are the words. F2 turns on and off web mode, which is basically word wrap mode. Most word processors look a lot like this, where it shows you like the print mode or a print preview. And there's the big margins of the page, and then this is this is the actual words, and they go off the screen. If you see that, just hit F2. It'll turn on web mode, and it will wrap the text like you're expecting. The word Rhytotron has got a 16 gigabyte capacity. Um, I think it's about six of that is used by the operating system, but that's still tons and tons of space. So you're probably not really going to run out of space unless you're unless you're just deliberately, you know, filling up the the Rhytotron with, with you know, pictures or, or whatever. So, um, let's go ahead and save this um, file that we just typed, both to the hard drive of the Rhytotron, so Control S, and the document text, uh, the format that I prefer is ODT, that's Open Document Text, that's what LibreOffice Writer uses. When you're working with the Rhytotron, I highly recommend you stick with that format. When you're finally done with your writing and you're on to the editing phase, then you can save to a different format. But until then, I recommend sticking with ODT. So let's just save this to slash home slash pi hello world. Save. There we go. Then I can exit out of here. Alt F4. Pretty universal command. 
There we go, there's our desktop. It's got a little, a cute little keyboard or a typewriter um, wallpaper. Open up LibreOffice, and then when you open it again, file open. It'll be there, hello world.odt in home pi, or actually home pi, and then hello world.odt is already selected. Another thing that you can do is just hit down, I'm sorry, on, on here, and it will go to the last file you are working on. That's a handy little uh, tip in LibreOffice Writer. There we go. I open up the file. Now, let's say you want to get this to a flash drive, like this one here. There's a couple different ways that you can do that. When you plug in the flash drive, it automatically opens up the file manager. In just a moment. There we go. The file manager is there. It just didn't open up in LibreOffice, but there it is. So I plugged in Kingston. There we go. And then this is some, you know, files from an art class I took. So what you can do is just navigate to where you save the file, which is in Pi. And then there is Hello World down there. Hello World.odt. Copy. Go to Kingston and paste. There we go. Hello world.odt is now saved to the flash drive. Alternatively, you can actually save Hello World using LibreOffice Writer. So go File, Save As, or Control Shift S. I've created this shortcut here, Media. And then once you hit media, it'll have a folder pi, click on that, Kingston, and there we go. There is my um, flash drive. I can just save hello world.odt. I'm just overwriting it. And there we are. So we have a file saved to the flash drive. I've closed LibreOffice Writer. I'm going to eject the flash drive. Say, uh, there we go, eject. All right, I have closed the uh, Writertron. I want to show one more feature before I go. Every time you close the Writertron, the screen powers off so that when you are, I don't know, working on some things between lunch breaks at work or what have you, you can just close your Writertron stick it back in your locker, and it will use barely any power as it sits there. And I know that because I have done it with this in, in very same Rhydotron. So, there we have it. We have our file saved to our flash drive. Let's actually open it up on a different computer. Here's my desktop computer. I like to save a lot of my stuff to the desktop. Don't judge me. I'm an old man, after all. Plugging in my flash drive. Continue without scanning, just so I can open it up. Let's minimize that. And there's Kingston right there. Let's open up hello world.odt. LibreOffice Writer, which is what I use on my full desktop too. And there we go. Hello, this is Gianda. Welcome to the Writotron. The very same words I wrote on the Writotron itself. And as you can see, even though I've got a white page and black text, because I configured it to automatically convert those colors on the go, 
Um, that's just how it's going to be, and you have no reason to worry that, you know, maybe your text will turn white, and even so, it's easy to fix. So, there you have it. There's the Rhinotron. The Rhinotron is available in Rhinotron Dark and Rhinotron Red Colors. So let's go back to the Rhinotron. Open up my viewfinder so I know exactly where we're going. There we go. So if you want to buy a Rhinotron, and there are two available currently, you can just head on to my store, http colon, you know, slash slash, not necessary, of course, etsy.com slash shop slash right o tron Oops, so it looks like the, the hyperlink text is still automatically set to blue, but I can just uh, delete the formatting, remove the hyperlink, and there we go. Etsy.com slash, right, slash shop slash Rhinotron, and you can have your own Rhinotron and just stick to writing. No internet, no distractions. Happy writing.